What's up guys? Mike with Sound Garage back with another video for the Black Star HT50. Uh, what I wanted to do today was just kind of go over uh, one of the features on this thing that I think is pretty cool that I have just been starting to play with and that is the XLR direct out on the back of this head. Um, as you can see here, you've got a couple of different ways you can get out. you got a USB out, you've got this XLR out, and with the XLR out, you've actually got the ability to select a 412 or a 112 uh, cab emulation. So you can run this head with no cab, run straight to your computer uh, for silent direct recording, which is something I've not really played with too much, um, but I'm starting to dabble with a little bit. And I think it's a pretty neat option to uh, kind of see what we could do against what we've normally been doing which is running it through the uh, the Marshall cab back there so I wanted to make this quick video to kind of show um, here I guess what the differences are between running the XLR out on this head versus the way we normally do it with miking up the cab with a uh, an SM57 mic in front of the Marshall cabinet so I'm just going to do a couple sound clips on clean and overdrive with um, the direct versus the mic cab and uh, see what you guys think. Um, let us know down below if you think it sounds better or worse than the mic cab. Um, I'm kind of curious myself. I've played with it a little bit, but uh, just kind of doing this as kind of a back-to-back -back, uh, just to see what it actually sounds like compared to the actual mic sound. So if it sounds good, we might actually use this in the future for more videos. Um, so we'll see. Let us know what you think and uh, yeah, let's check it out. Thanks.
right, so what do you guys think? Uh, I think me, I, I, overall, I'm pretty impressed with the direct out quality. Um, there's a little, you know, you can hear a little bit of a difference between the two, obviously, because the uh, mic placement on the cab is going to affect how that sounds a little bit. But uh, taking that out of the equation and just focusing on the actual tone between the two uh, clips, the mic and the direct out, I think the important thing to focus on is the fact that the tone is pretty much the same. It's all there, so I think that's really neat. Um, the direct out is really, really usable, I think. Um, I think I will be using it a lot more in the future. I've played some amps where they've got the headphone jack and you play through the headphone jack and it really doesn't sound anything like what the actual amp sounds like. You get that kind of just mushy, muddy sound in the headphones. Um, so I was curious to see if this was a similar result or not. Um, and I'm happy to say I don't think it is. Uh, I think this is a pretty good, uh, pretty cool feature on this amp for the Black Star, and I think they did a good job with this direct out. I'll have to play with the uh, the USB out in the future, see if it, I think that's actually got some other uh, features you can play around with in your software, but um, that'll be for a later date. But uh, one thing I didn't mention before is the guitar I was using is the my LTD F50 with the Seymour Duncan Black Winter bridge pickup, so everything was recorded with that pickup. Um, just to give you kind of a reference for what the guitar and pickup was in this video. So thanks for checking us out. Stay tuned. we got a lot more coming. Uh, we've got a bunch of videos planned. We took a little bit of a break towards the end of last year, just kind of regrouping and getting some things together. But uh, we've got some more in the works, so make sure you stay tuned and keep watching. Thanks for checking us out.